How's it going guys? We have a past level question for stage versus grade pathology concept step one, this type of question all over the NBME exams, no excuses. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Give you like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below from your Telegram, links to the Telegram group channel, down below and I'll start the clip. 55 year old woman undergoes a hemicolectomy for adenocarcinoma. Question wants to know which of the following scenarios portends a greatest prognosis within five years post your section. So before I hop to the answer choices, we'll just discuss grade versus stage. So grade is going to be two main things. Number one, the degree of anaplasia, not aplasia. Aplasia refers to lack of cell growth. Anaplasia refers to degree of undifferentiation, degree of how immature are the cells, how much have the cells regressed. If you have a cell that looks like a colonocyte, it's well differentiated, okay? That would be a mature cell. But if you have a cancer where under histology, the cells appear similar to stem cells, let's say, they don't look like mature colonocytes, then they would be immature, they've regressed, they're anaplastic, they're higher grade, okay? So the degree of anaplasia, how dissimilar are the cancer cells under histo compared to uh, the native tissue? And then the second is number of mitoses. And USMLE can assess that. High mitoses, obviously bad, that's higher grade. USMLE can present that in vignettes a number of ways. Uh, they can say something obscure called KI67 uh, staining is increased. Okay, that's just a marker that can refer to uh, number of mitoses. They love giving you nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio, one to one. That's bad. That's a high ratio, not a low ratio. So think about it. The nucleus should be a lot smaller than the cytoplasm, shouldn't it? So if you have a one-to-one -one ratio, that means the nucleus is huge because it's the same size as the cytoplasm. And that implies that you have a lot of protein synthesis occurring. They can follow that up by saying there's a one-to-one -one, uh, nuclear cytoplasmic ratio with prominent nucleoli. The implication is that, well, nucleoli within the nucleus are going to be presume, uh, producing ribosomal uh, RNA, and that's necessary for protein synthesis. So you've got high number of mitoses. So prominent nucleoli, a one-to-one -one, uh, nuclear cytoplasmic ratio, which is high, high number of mitoses, KI67 increased, all that can reflect a higher grade. And as I just said, how anaplastic are you? And then there's stage, which is going to be, there's a, a TMN, as in the size of the tumor, uh, has it gone to lymph nodes? Has it gone to, uh, is it metastatic? But I think for your sake, what you need to know is just to what extent has the tumor invaded? That's all USMLE gives a fuck about. So if you're in situ, if you're confined superficial to a basement membrane, then you're stage zero or stage one, depending on the type of cancer, um, the specific uh, guidelines they have, but your minimal stage, if you're superficial, if you're confined, if you're in situ, uh, confined to that basement membrane. So if you've spread anywhere to lymph nodes, if you have metastases, that's higher stage. Now, the other very important concept is stage is more important than grade for prognosis. Some astute students will instantaneously say, oh, but Michael, sometimes in CNS, e.g. brain stem to i.e. brain stem tumors, grade could be more important than stage. I haven't seen you assembly give a fuck. Okay, the notion of that one exception, potentially grade could be more important than stage for brain stem tumors. Haven't seen you assembly give a fuck. So the linchpin is uh, for your conceptual understanding is stage is more important than grade for you assembly purposes. Okay, so let's just hop through the answer choices here. Choice A, moderately differentiated carcinoma invasive to the or invasive to the serosal surface. So moderately differentiated, you say, well, that means that it's a lower grade, okay? It looks like uh, mature cells. It looks like the native tissue somewhat, right? Uh, but it's invaded, and that means we have an increase in stage. We're just going to keep looking at the other answer choices. Mucin-producing carcinoma invasive to the muscularis. This mucin producing uh, descriptor, nonsense, doesn't mean anything, but we have a degree of invasion as well, so stage has increased. Choice C, mucin producing carcinoma with hepatic metastases, so stage is even higher for choice C here, okay, so we make note of that. Choice D, poorly differentiated carcinoma, that's very high, that would be a high grade, confined to the mucosa, so we have 
minimal stage, stage zero or stage one, depending on the cancer we're referring to, but it's minimal stage. And then choice E, well-differentiated carcinoma. So that's going to be low grade, seen in a sentinel lymph node only. Holy shit. Let's throw in a little minimal confusion here as far as OMG, only a lymph node. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay. It's spread. That's the point. So you have an increase in stage. So A through C, wrong fucking answers. Choice E, wrong fucking answer. Now, the reason, you know, this is what USMLE does. They like making... Uh, the answer sounds sinister where they give you an increase in grade by saying poorly differentiated or high number of mitoses holy shit okay and then you're like oh my god that's not good but then they say it's in situ or they say it's confined to the mucosa it's confined superficially based membrane and choice d is the correct answer because this is the lowest stage okay so it's stage as i said that's most important for prognosis they can do the opposite uh, for this type of question. There's there's one on the NBME exams where they say uh, which the following is most likely to uh, reflect a need for cystectomy in this patient. They give you like a transitional cell carcinoma, the bladder question, and they say, as I just said, uh, which the following uh, for cystectomy, and you'd say, well, we're going to choose the answer that is uh, the highest stage. And they give four answers that are confined, that are in situ, confined to the superficial base membrane, and then one that has invaded slightly. And that's the one that's going to be uh, highest indication for cystectomy. Choice C, as I already said, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal with the team, make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.